That was very exciting. Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Wednesday, it's a beautiful day, we're March 12, 13. Welcome to St. Louis. I'm in St. Louis, I've been here for a day, two days. For Wednesday, I arrived on Monday night. Yesterday, I was in Herman, uh, you probably already saw that. And today, I'm gonna go to Springfield. That's very exciting. Just wanted to pop up and say hi, because I feel like I haven't been talking to you guys in a few days as I'm filming but not filming myself today is my key shirt day that i got in florida it's a beautiful day but it's like the weather is wonderful it really feels like spring it's like it's gonna be up to 25 degrees today which is like i don't know 80s maybe i can't believe i was shoveling snow literally two days ago in new hampshire and now i'm just in a t-shirt it's it's crazy but yeah um let's go to springfield <laughs> This museum in Litchfield is amazing. I could have spent my whole day just walking around, reading everything, looking at everything. It is so amazing how many pieces of history a museum can have. This one especially being about Road 66, it has so many different objects to look at. It's really neat. loved the decoration. It reminded me of Fayette. It's a bakery I, I did a video on before in France. It felt cozy, like a familiar place, like I was having lunch at home. And this kind of soup is my favorite food to eat and I never eat it. Um, I don't know why, but I love the middle of warm, the tasty liquid and the good foods inside. I really enjoyed this lunch.
after those cool morning visits, we went back on the road and on our way, we saw a drive-in. This is something I've always seen in movies. It's actually on my bucket list. It was really cool to see a place like that in real life. Got a speaker is here. And I didn't know especially about the mics and how it was done, so really cool place. Then at the beginning of the afternoon, we arrived in Springfield, Illinois to visit the Abraham Lincoln Museum. I remember telling my friends here, I am not really girly makeup clothes wise and all, but those dresses, just wow, gorgeous dresses, I would love to try them on. say you probably know by now I'm a very curious person but the truth is I do not remember that much in terms of facts dates whatever that being said museums like this one are top-notch they make it very easy for you to understand what happened and it makes it easier to remember important facts especially from this part of history this museum has different parts this one retraces his early life. I'm not gonna be able to show you everything, but it's 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 very interesting. And uh, if you get to go, please take your time to go around because it's really well done. Washington politicians want to tell. The good thing about that museum located in Springfield is that everything is located around. You can go visit his grave. It's, I think it was not even five minutes away. I'm not sure, but it's around. And do not miss the visitor center, Lincoln Home, because you can go visit his house, one of the houses he lived in, but this one is the longest he lived in. I think if I remember well, he lived in that one for 18 years. We had an amazing guide, he knew so much and he was passionate about Lincoln and, and the house. We heard really interesting facts that I'm gonna let you hear. And they're not original, but they are antique and they're the best match we have. If you see these drawings on the floor, they were done for a newspaper in 1861 after Lincoln won the election. They're the only visual sources we have of how the rooms looked. So we can see those kind of brass balances on those pictures. We don't have them or original anymore, but those are a pretty close match. Sitting room, but it's where the whole family could spend time. You would have often found Mrs. Lincoln over here. Under this mirror is the sewing table. Now that mirror and the table are both original as well. She would make and mend all the clothing for her boys by hand. That's a lot of work, especially because the boys would be sources of distraction here. 
While Mary is trying to work, they are having wrestling matches on the floor, Abraham included. He would wrestle with his sons. If you did not know, when he was growing up on the frontier, Mr. Lincoln won over 300 wrestling matches. He has a spot in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. That is true. And he shows that off to his boys here. But if they did not want to wrestle, they could also play board games. We have that replica chess set over on the table. That is exactly what theirs looked like. Uh, taken from fragmentary pieces we were able to dig up in the backyard that they threw away. Cool. Also on that table, you can see that tall wooden box that is called a stereoscope. That is a 3D picture viewer. If you played with a Viewmaster, it's the same thing. You could call it the great grandfather of virtual reality. Pretty fancy. It's, um, it is original as well. Lincoln paid about $25 for that. That's about $900 today. So very fancy right there. That is the original one. And the other source of fun here, I have to mention, there were Lincoln pets. They had animals in the home. They had a dog, a yellow Labrador mix named, what else? Fido. Yes, he would run around here. Uh, besides Fido, there were often cats in the home because Mr. Lincoln would bring home strays that he'd find on his way home from work. He'd pick them right up off the street. Mrs. Lincoln wrote that in one of her letters. She said that Abraham's hobby was cat collecting. So there you go. I like to tell my groups, remember two things about Lincoln if you learn nothing else wrestler and cat collector. You can impress friends and family with those tidbits. Uh, but all of that is what makes this probably my personal favorite room because it just represents them as a family, I think, more than anywhere else. It's where they could all be together. Do you remember the pink elephant I showed you on the road at the beginning of this video? Well, on our way back, we wanted to stop at that place. It's a famous diner of the 66 road, but we got a little bit lost and took our time to find that spot. But I have to say it was great because we got to see those really cute horses and this beautiful sunset. It was another amazing day in the Midwest, full of really cool visits, activities, good food. 
And I want to thank my friends for driving me all around and showing me those really cool places that I think it's the real America. And I、uh, want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a few facts. And the Midwest is amazing, guys. You really ought to visit. Thank you.